the UK government has approved a new coal mine for 30 years, despite concerns about its climate impacts. The project's approval was suspended in early 2021, ahead of the COP26 climate conference in Glasgow, after the government's climate change advisor said it would increase carbon emissions. But after nearly two years and tons of climate pledges, the UK seems to be returning to its old ways. Coal is one of the most polluting fossil fuels, with double the emissions of natural gas. The proposed mine in Cumbria, northwest England, is meant for coking coal, which is used for steel production in the UK and worldwide. The UK produces 7.4 million tonnes of steel a year, and it takes about 770 kgs of coal to make one tonne of steel. UK steel makers currently get nearly half of their coal from Russia. In 2021, imports from Russia made up 27% of coal used in Britain. But with the Russian invasion of Ukraine and revised economic sanctions, the UK is looking at the Cumbria mine as a way to reduce its coal dependency. However, 85% of the coal produced in Cumbria is likely to be exported. The UK is supposed to cut 78% of its greenhouse gas emissions by 2035. In order to do this, the steel industry must cut its emissions which were responsible for 2.7% of the UK's total GHG emissions in 2019. The UK has emitted more than 78 gigatons of CO2 since 1750. This represents approximately 5% of historical global emissions, making it the fifth biggest carbon polluter in history. This is more than the justified share of carbon emissions by a country to build its economy. The new coal mine decision by the UK once again highlights the failures of developed nations in keeping up with their climate promises.